Hi and welcome to this week's edition of JPTV. I'm Sam Hay and I'm the owner of JP Hay Sales and Lettings. This week I want to talk to you about the decisions that are made by deposit disputes committees. Now we had a question this week in regards to a deposit dispute. Is the decision made by the disputes committee legally binding? The answer to that is yes it is. If you hand over the dispute to the Deposit Disputes Committee, whatever decision or outcome they decide on is legally binding. If you don't agree with the decision and you want to take it further, you will need to take it through a civil court yourself. The idea of this is that the decision is given to an independent adjudication body where they can look at both sides of the argument and they can then make a decision on whether the landlord should indeed be able to retain some of the deposit. In order to do this, as I've said previously, the best thing to do is ensure that you provide the deposit committee with as much information and as much evidence as possible. So keep all of your receipts because they will be a large part when it comes to making a decision. So if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give a member of my team a call. And that's all for this week and I'll look forward to speaking to you next week.